So yeah, the, the censorship is, is out of control. But I, I want to ask you about Israel and the genocide and the slaughter of, um, in Gaza in the United States already being in an, uh, a hole economically. Why is she deploying massive amounts of weapons and warships um, to defend Israel when it's not in her interest economically, politically, or militarily? These are more um, uh, these will be more fissures in the cracks of the dam of American empire <laughs> if she continues to um, antagonize people that by her debt. I'm, are they thinking? That's what I want to know. Are, are the leadership? Uh, the, the leaders of America and the West thinking because we're in a tailspin economically. Well, uh, Rashid, um, probably the most powerful interest group uh, that influences our government is the Israel lobby. Uh, they have over many decades uh, positioned uh, Israel as uh, the oppressed, the underdog, the Holocaust. Everyone wants to get them. Everybody's an anti-Semite. Um, they have infiltrated the ev Christian evangelical churches, many of whom uh, seem to worship Israel rather than Jesus. <laughs> uh, and and they're, really, they're called Christian Zionists. And in fact, uh, I think the largest evangelical church is uh, the one run by that fellow named Hagee. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they basically worship uh, Israel. Now, uh, and then also you have to keep in mind that every year the American taxpayers they give several billion dollars uh, to the Israeli government. And that money comes right back by right back and buys our elections. Mm -hmm. You cannot get elected by opposing Israel. If you take an, a, a, if you criticize any Israeli policy, you won't be elected. If you're in office and you start criticizing it, you'll lose the next election. There, there are no successful cases of, of senators or members of the house uh, taking issue with an Israeli policy and surviving. It, it can't be done. So, and nobody even tries. Look, it was just uh, recently, wasn't it, that uh, Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, was invited by both parties to come address Congress. <clears throat> and he got, what, 53 standing uh, ovations. Now, this is a guy that's slaughtering Palestine killing everybody in Gaza, pushing them down. The, the plan apparently is to push them out into the Egyptian desert. And they've now started on the remnants of the West Bank and they're forcing them uh, out of the West Bank into Jordan. And so here we have uh, a massive, horrendous slaughter of people, uh, theft of uh, their country and of their lives. And uh, the guy responsible gets 53 standing ovations from Congress. So this shows you the strength of the power of Israel over the United States. So you can't expect uh, any uh, thing along that line to change. Now, you raise the question of all the warships and and jet fighters and troops that we have allocated uh, uh, in, in the area of Israel. Uh, it's not there to protect Israel. It's there to attack Iran, assuming, and Israel has been pushing us to do that for many years, uh, assuming that we can cause Iran to do something that justifies us attacking them. And that's why, why the two carrier uh, task forces are there. That's why I think the division of American paratroopers are still there. So many uh, jet fighters have been located there. 
so that's all in preparation for attacking Iran, assuming we can get that in in the works, get, get Iran to do something that gives us um, an excuse. So uh, it, it'll be um, a great uh, increase in war there. Uh, I think also the war in Ukraine is going to explode because we are now giving the Ukrainians permission uh, to use our long range missiles to attack deep inside Russia. Well, the Russians are not going to tolerate that. So, and, and moreover, the Iranians can't operate the weapons. They're operated by um, American officers. So you see, we've got two big wars that could explode, even at the same time. <laughs> one in the Middle East, uh, one in Europe. So, and you, you rightly uh, raise the question, how, how can a government get itself in such a mess as we have? And it's that the various interest groups that control the government have got us in that mess. <laughs> That's what's happened. The Israelis have got us in that mess. The FBI, the CIA, the armaments industries, they've got us in that mess, you see. So that's the mess we're in, and there's no way out of it. If you, if you take a position against the wars, if you're in the Senate or the House, then you lose the campaign contributions from the armaments companies. You see, they would go to your opponent. If you take a position against Israel, the, you'll lose those contributions. They'll go to your opponent. And so people are basically unable to function. They can't do anything except appease the people who finance their campaigns and keep them in power. And that's the problem. <laughs>